Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray. It's been over a year since I stopped making any new content for YouTube. Uh, that was due to the COVID-19 situation around the world. And I just had to take another job and I was quite busy doing a lot of other things, including survival. I have a newborn baby and I've been keeping quite busy at home. But I promised a lot of people and a lot of you commented on the Spiral Dynamics series that we still haven't reached yellow. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos, you must. There's a whole history before you become a yellow. So don't try to skip any stages. That's part of the Spiral Dynamics. It means that you have to climb up slowly. Sometimes, sometimes you have to go back in order to investigate the level that you haven't really completed, okay? For example, people who are highly, highly, highly spiritual need to investigate materialism. So about yellow, I have a lot of examples because I am a newborn yellow in the last couple of years. I've been a green most of my life. Before that, I was a dark, dark orange, more materialistic, more mental. Uh, the green again is about unity. It's about brotherhood. It's about spirituality. It's about being feminine. It's about being together, okay? While the orange is thinking more about himself, the individual, thinking more about money, materialism, more about hierarchies, while the green tries to break those hierarchies. So again, if you haven't watched the previous video, which is green, and the previous one before that, which is orange, you really have to, because they all kind of come together. So I've made quite a lot of notes about yellow and how green is kind of stuck in their own thing and how to graduate into a yellow mentality. Now, this doesn't mean that everything that is written here is your next step. It means that some of the things you will recognize as your own boundaries, as your own boundaries break out of them. But some of the yellow things, maybe they won't appeal to all of you. Again, a green gets stuck when he finds out in the morning that the world is not actually green that the governments and the media is still broadcasting negative things about life and he's looking at other people trying to make everything work for them taking the burden of the world on his shoulders okay a, a green may be a vegan that is always contemplating why we're hurting animals a green may be a person that again still judges all the other levels because he's trying to save africa because he's trying to do something to break all those hierarchies that he doesn't enjoy and i'm not saying that it's good or bad i'm just saying this is where green usually gets stuck he sees that he's trying to change the world he doesn't understand why everybody else isn't green yet so green awareness but also orange awareness what does that mean a yellow is the first color in the whole the hierarchy, okay, in the spiral dynamics, that doesn't judge all the other colors, okay? Green wants everyone to be green. Orange makes fun of green, makes fun of blue, makes fun of everybody else because he thinks that everybody should be orange, more advanced, more about technology, having hierarchies, having rules, having a, a mental perspective about life. So a yellow takes the higher perspective about everything. So yellow can start up a conversation with any green, with any orange, with any blue, okay? Even as someone that is religious and is all about the old ancient rules and why did we change everything and everything used to work out just fine and we should all be all about our community, about our government, you know, about being a patriot for, for my country and stuff like that. So you can start up a conversation, for example, a yellow can be a CEO and having one manager that is green one manager that is completely orange and he will know how to have a conversation with each and every one of them and he won't even judge them for being that. He won't show them that he is a yellow because he understands that there's a, a hierarchy of colors and you can get along with pretty much everyone, which is very, very important. A yellow is a system buster, a system thinker. So unlike a, a green or an orange that had these set of rules, that had this black or white type of thinking, things should be in this way. So yellow will take all the information and make up his own mind without the bias that society has on a particular matter. So it's not about being vaccinated or not vaccinated. Maybe there's particular vaccinations. And it's not about being about the Israelis or about the Arabs. Maybe there's something that is a little bit deeper into that and I can investigate it. And if I watch the news in Israel or in the United States or in England, I will see a different perspective because the media is already biased according to the people who have the money to give certain information. 
So a yellow is called a system buster. Spiral dynamics is perfectly aligns with everything a yellow actually is, which is what I am beginning to be. I still have one leg in green, but I'm very, very well aware that I'm moving strongly into yellow. And again, it's not being better. It's about continuing your self growth and understanding more and more about yourself and letting go of a lot of obstacles that you had certain mindsets that you thought you achieved like every every stage in spiral dynamics things that they've achieved a certain level and they're not going to change but when they look back they understand that they have changed something happened it doesn't matter if they can define what happened or can define what happened something happened and their perspective changed so that's a yellow yellow must have some sort of discipline okay and this means a cultivation of lifelong learnings he is self-taught he's a searcher for meaning he's usually very objective about things because he understands that he understands that he's constantly changing that the character of the avatar that we choose to have as a human being is constantly changing their opinions constantly changing their emotional state their belief systems constantly change so while a green will hold on to that black or white thinking or an orange will hold on to that black and white thinking until a certain threshold of beliefs information has been accumulated that they allow themselves to change and switch okay until that point a yellow already comes very very open-minded and saying you know something that might be true when somebody judges a yellow yellow tries to take it into his mind, into his belief system and see if there's even a, a shred of truth there, something that they can grow from because a yellow's ego is very, very minimized. Now, the reason that a yellow has a discipline and I can highly recommend having one discipline that you go all the way through with. So unlike trying to fit into a particular color or a particular environment or society, a yellow kind of says, you know something, I have my own discipline. And remember, a green moves from social while a yellow is deep again into the individuality. Now, it doesn't mean that they're loners. There are a lot of yellows that are loners. It means that the journey stops being on the outside and it begins being much more on the inside. So the deepness that you get from life's experiences, you hold them within. And you can start seeing that everybody's enjoying and again, being harassed by the outside circumstances that are not really real. The reason that yellow has to have some sort of discipline is because they cannot reach where they are by not doing absolutely anything. They have to become very, very self-aware. That means that they have to learn different systems of becoming self-aware, different exercises, different retreats or processes or workshops, or read a lot, a lot of books and become self-aware. It means that they have chosen one sort of lifestyle to have that discipline because you cannot achieve that if you're always distracted by the outside world and you're always fighting the outside world, fighting to show your worth, shouting to prove who you are, uh, fighting to please other people and not yourself, not finding that right balance between yourself and society. Yellow is all about objectivity and neutrality, okay? Neutrality means that we're not taking one opinion, but we're trying to observe all the opinions together. For example, if you look at the world and you look at existence and you look at the souls that are having, you know, sort of a human experience here, you'll understand that you are them. And of course, the green says, of course, everybody is one and we are them, but we're still judging them and we're still looking at them and we still pity some of them for not achieving the state of mind that we have achieved and stuff like that. Instead of looking at all of us as one, having eight billion different eyes and eight billion different experiences. So that's the objectivity. We cannot judge anybody else for being who they are, where they are in that time in their personal development. And, and the yellow understands that. So it's much easier for him to accept the fact that somebody ruined something else for him or that somebody screwed him over or that, you know, all these things that happen because we're just human beings, you know, learning to exist. And most of us are lacking love. And when you lack love, you do a lot of bad stuff to other people. So we said that the green finds a win-win situation and the yellow finds a win-win-win situation. And what does that mean? So a green will come to approach any type of situation 
and you will try to see how they can gain and others can gain, usually they will actually try to have the other person gain more than they do. So they will come and they will try to make peace between two people who argue. Now the yellow takes the higher approach, understanding that there's a model that sees a third party, okay? So that means that if I'm running a business and somebody else has money and I'm looking to loan some money from them, the yellow will try to make it fit so that they gain, I gain, and the third party gains as well, and maybe society will gain as well. Because for example, when a yellow takes a job like I do, I always have to have something to help others. If it's the YouTube channel or the processes, and now I'm having an HBOT business, oxygen, for people who have different injuries and stuff like that, I'm always trying to see how I can help humanity and how that will progress. Because I understand that having a job that will only make money and will only you know, gain myself, it's not enough, it's not enough. There has to be more than that. And of course, everything can work in that way if we want to, if we have that mindset. Finding win-win-win situation. Um, entire spiral wins. Yellows are visionaries. Yellows have mental flexibility. It means, again, that they don't have the black and white thinking. Yellow are usually more left-brained than right-brained. What does that mean? It means that there's a certain balance between the heart and the emotion and thinking about it. Yellow has found the right balance between the two and they're not attached to their emotions. That doesn't mean that they don't feel. It means that they don't get overwhelmed with emotions. So the ups and downs are not that high. Take monks, for example. They go up and then it's really, really small ups and downs. You know, the outside external circumstances of life doesn't affect them that much. So the same thing with the yellow. Why? Because again, the journey is within. And I'm also going to explain to you how we're going to become more yellow or how you get out of the green state. Um, Yellow is non-dual, is a, usually a lone wolf because yellow is moving away from the sort of group hive mind. So again, green and orange, they all have these rules. They don't understand that they have rules. They don't understand that they're looking for other people that are very, very much like them. While the yellow is not looking for anything because again, it's not about the outside, it's about the inside. So even you think that you're completely liberated and you're wearing the clothes that you have chosen, it's still a sort of hive mind mentality. So you will go to other places where other like-minded people, you will shop in shops that other like-minded people will shop. You know, you probably dress the same type of clothes. You're probably also going to use the same type of expressions, you know? Uh, everything is like that. There's a, a mental attitude of being a green and a mental attitude of being a blue. And they have a lot of similarities or a lot of things that are common between them. Yellow is highly creative and an outside of the box thinker, okay, so that means he's solution oriented, he has a good balance between mind and emotion, he's highly individualistic, highly individualistic, it means that sometimes you will see us and think that we're very, very strange, sometimes we're very, very quiet and we don't say anything at all, not all, not all yellow are like me, you know, that we try to stand out, and of course yellow is not superficial and is not hypocritical, quite the opposite, he sees everyone as one and he understands, a yellow would love spiral dynamics, love, because why? Because he's a system buster, because he understands that there's certain modalities in life that we can grow out of. Imagine if you trained your brain to see the different colors in every person and you will know exactly how to approach them, you will know what hurts them in a specific time and you will know how to help them heal, you know? Imagine that you would know that only 15% of the world is green right now, only a few percent are yellow. And the world right now in the media in different countries displays the output according to the, you can say, the country's consciousness level at that point in time. So you can expect that in Saudi Arabia, the news will be blue. And you can expect that in China, the news will show orange or in the United States as well. And you can expect that in Denmark or in, uh, uh, in Norway, you can see that it's much more green than other countries, for example. Yellow has less concerns for self-survival or needing to fit in. Yellow has no need for social recognition like orange does. Yellow does not need money, but because of yellow energy, money comes by itself. So when you let go of the struggle of needing it that much and you understand that it's a part of the human game, then money just comes flows with synchronicities. Why? Because you don't need it that much and you are working on a selfless act. It means that you are 
not working on anything that is egoistic. You're working for other people and therefore you are living by the vibration of love. And the vibration of love is also the vibration of abundance because abundance, love, higher self, they're all connected in some way. So when you're, you don't have the struggle and the need, you know, and your heart is open, then money just comes flowing. And again, I'm not hyper materialistic person. I'm just explaining the way the rules are because I know very few yellow and all of them are like that. And if you want to achieve that, you have to see where you're stuck right now and why you still have some dual thinking and why you're still judging yourself and not loving yourself enough and therefore judging other people and not loving other people enough. While yellow is about understanding the system, orange is about manipulating or being on top of the system. So a yellow will know how to fit in, okay? If a yellow, for example, is a politician, then will know that there is a system and I can't break that system right now. I can tune it a little bit from the inside, but I'm not trying to break that system at all. I'm not trying to break a hierarchy because some hierarchies are there with good reason, okay? The government, uh, other big structures, you know, in society that we actually need that hierarchy. Without that, we go back to being red and blue. Okay, society has been building itself in order. Remember in the beginning there was peasants and those peasants had a little king and when that king met another king and then they created a whole kingdom or an empire, there's rules, there's, there's things that have to happen in their own pace, which is usually slower than what a green would actually want it to be. A green thinks that we can all achieve that. We can go to Africa, we can build them hospitals, we can teach them how to be green. Everybody can be happy just like I am. But inside, he understands that there's something wrong because we're trying to, you know, quicken something that needs to take a little bit more time. Yellow is ever-changing. Yellow is not opinionated. Yellow is non-judgmental. Yellow is not evil in any way. He's trying to do good. Yellow is into self-actualization. Yellow is non-ideological, which is very important, yet highly principled. Now think about it this way. If yellow doesn't have an ideology, then, but he's highly principled, then he must have learned that somewhere. So yellow is more individualistic than others because he has this autodidactic type of self-learning and they do have their own opinions about things. But when two people come to them, they will hear both opinions and they won't go with what they're thinking. They will approach the situation objectively and they will hear both parties and then they will tell both parties, you know, they, it won't be a black or white thing. It will be 80%, 70%, it will be completely in the gray. Yellow is non-ideological, yet highly principled. There's an ethnic core, okay? But again, it's non-ideological, so it doesn't come from a certain approach or, or from certain religion or from a set of rules, you know, a, an absolute truth that he has read somewhere, but more from life's experience, you yeah? know? And it's not something that you can just read in a book. It's something that you accumulate experience and you know that you need to be on a certain path. Again, yellow finds it hard to explain to greens and to oranges their life perspective. Yellow wants to know all perspectives even if they do not fit their own worldview. So yellow will actually be multi-perspective. Why? Because they will understand that a certain perspective fits a certain situation or for a certain job or for a certain person. So yellow will climb down and they will explain things as the other person can actually understand from their own point of view. Yellow will always work in some way for society. Of course, that's in most cases. Some yellows are up on the mountains in the Himalayas. Yellow cannot feel oppressed, okay? Yellow rarely feels negativity in a common manner. It doesn't feel superior to others. It's not patronizing or arrogant. What does that mean? Take me for example. I can't really get hurt from anybody else. Because when somebody says something, I know that it's the ego that gets embarrassed, it's the ego that gets hurt, and I know that I am myself. With all the goofiness and all the, you know, the bullshit that I do, even in the videos, like, you can really feel that I'm not trying to change anything about myself. My English isn't perfect, and I understand that. I'm trying to get more information out there in order to breach or bridge the gap between spirituality and materialism, or the West type of lifestyle, and who we truly are. So for example, in this case, when somebody comes up to me and says something that I don't like to hear, or somebody gives a bad comment on YouTube, I don't get offended. I can't be oppressed in any way. Why? Because it's their own, you know, it's their own judgment, it's their own thing. I'm trying to read and learn from that 
and see if there's something that I can do even better. But if I can't, I won't take it personally. It's impossible for me, okay? And it's not, again, it's not that I'm suppressing the way that I feel, it's that my ego understands that it's just words that have been translated my, by my belief systems. It's not mine to carry, it's somebody else's to carry. And if you have a, a, a tendency to always be negative and always say different things or negative things about other people, that's usually your problem and not my problem. You will see that life will serve you just like as a, as a mirror and you have all these negative things in order for you to continue complaining about. Yellow doesn't feel superior to others. Yellow speaks their truth. Yellow values nuances and different perspectives as the perfection of life, which is very, very true. Yellow has expertise, competence, experience, skills. Yellow will try to do their best at all times. Yellow is highly positive and usually highly optimistic as well. So yellow doesn't see himself as superior to others in any way. He doesn't understand that spiral dynamics exist, but he does understand that different people have different opinions about different things. And he can see that there's a common ground, that we can all work things out together. It doesn't mean that we have to have it in a green way or in an orange way or in a blue way. There are no simple black and white answers for yellow. It doesn't get involved with criticism, doesn't create any enemies and doesn't scapegoat. You can't really brainwash yellow to a single opinion. However, yellow does know how to persuade and convince you in order for you to broaden your perspective on life. For example, Elon Musk is a yellow, Gandhi is a yellow, Benito Massaro is a yellow, Nelson Mandela, maybe, maybe some of them are even one level above, but I cannot, I tried to relate and I saw the videos and I read the book about the level that is above and I can't. You know why? Because it's very, very hard in Spiral Dynamics to understand the logic of the level that is above you because you're simply not there. They're much higher than where I am right now. I'm still, I have a job, I have two legs, you know, in the Western society. I try to do my best with the time that I have, you know, and I'm trying to teach whatever I can, but I know that this is too high for me. And some of them, maybe they're even higher in the hierarchy and I'm not aware of that. So I'm just giving you some example. A yellow, which somebody green hearing this example might disagree. Yellow can actually be a vegetarian or define themselves as a vegetarian and occasionally eat meat. Now, the reason for that, again, some of you are going to say, but no, a vegetarian can't eat meat, you know, because no, those are the rules. That's the mindset. That's the, that's the box that we choose to define ourselves in, you know. But when a yellow chooses to eat meat, it doesn't mean that it's going to do this every day, maybe once a month. Maybe they still appeal to the taste of meat. And I'm, by the way, I'm a vegetarian that I haven't eaten meat in over 10 years and I'm not judging others. I'm just saying that this can happen and I know some people that do this and when I ask them about it, I want to understand where, where it comes from. And it comes from their, a change that they did in their mindset to step out of the box of limitation and to allow themselves to be a flexitarian and not to be judged by society's rules. And again, the definition itself doesn't matter to the, to the yellow because it's not a black and white thinking. So there can be a definition, but we understand that there's a gray area where flexibility and individualism come in. Examples where green fails. Green fails because he thinks that everybody's equal, but not everybody's equal. A green fails because he thinks that all cooperations are bad and everybody that has money maybe is a little bit hypocritical and maybe they're a little bit cheap and money is, you know, has blood on it and stuff like that and corporations are using, uh, you know, people from China and from the East and stuff like that. But not all of them are bad. Not all hierarchies are bad, okay? And this is really important. Some structures cannot be flattened for society to exist. Cannot. We don't have to do it all together. Some people or some countries or some societies, they don't have to be a part of everything right now. They're learning a different lesson. And if you, once you start meditating deeply and you start downloading information from your higher self, you guys are start, going to start to understand that the world is perfect as it is. Perfect as it is. We can help it. We can be a little bolt or a little nut. We can accelerate some things, okay, in the world. But everything is as it is and the pace that we're moving from a higher perspective, it's really, really fast. From inside the story or from inside the Maya, the illusion, it looks like things are moving just a little bit slower. But trust me, I feel the vibration of the world shifting 
and I can tell you that it's, it's shifting faster. The vibration is shifting much faster. I'm learning new experiences all the time, all the time. Even if I'm telling myself that I'm not, I'm telling myself I've taken a break from reality for a year, you know? I haven't been meditating much, I haven't been sleeping much. I've been so busy in other things, trying to build a new business and making, changing the world in my own type of way. But I can tell you that things are shifting quite, quite rapidly. So again, most of you that are watching this are greens and you want to shift into yellow. One thing to shift is a good thing. It's very natural that we want to climb up because we think that there's a natural order to things, you know? But understand the things that have given you in this video. Go and seek examples outside of yourself. See where you are stuck and what in your perspective makes you stuck. For example, judging other people, judging yourself, not loving yourself, you know? It's usually because of our failures. And ask yourself, why do you think I've failed? How can, I fa how can a failure even exist in a perfect reality? And how can I shift to not wanting to break hierarchies, to not wanting to judge the government, to not wanting to judge people who are watching the news or are eating meat or are abusing themselves mentally or all those things. And when you start understanding the reality of things from a yellow perspective, all these things that I've told you, and there's quite a lot, quite a lot of examples here, you know, about being optimistic. Where are my thoughts? Where are my thoughts right now? Are they negative? Am I planning what's going to happen tomorrow? Am I embarrassed by anything else? Am I affected by other people's opinions of me or my opinion of myself? And do I understand that the world is not really black and white and there, it's not a real dual existence and all these type of things? Wow, so it's great to be back. I haven't practiced my English for a very long time, so I hope you forgive me. Yellow is the last color that we're gonna have in Spiral Dynamics, my friends, the last color. And I'm going to soon start making new videos every week, maybe twice a week. I don't really know, I'll see. I'm very, I'm much more liberated about what I'm going to do now. And I don't feel that I have to, but I really want to sometime. So if that urge comes coming from my, my belly, I'm going to do it. Namaste, my friends. I love you all. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please like it, share it on your Facebook or with friends and stuff like that. But make sure to bring all the Spiral Dynamics series with you. Okay, you have to start from the beginning. Namaste.